You've probably heard the term flat foot or pez planus. I'm sure you've even heard some of your friends or colleagues discussing the flat foot as well. And I'm sure there's a few of you out there who've been diagnosed with having a flat foot. As a podiatrist, it's one of the questions that I most often get asked. Do I have a flat foot? My name is Gerard. I'm a podiatrist here at Singapore General Hospital. Let me tell you a little bit more about flat foot. Flat foot is a common condition that affects the Asian population. Estimates suggest it occurs one in every five individuals. To identify someone with flat feet, you need to observe the way a person stands or walks. During standing or walking, those with flat feet tend to flatten their inner foot or arch. Furthermore, the foot may roll over to the inner side. However, for children under the ages of 10 who may not have fully developed foot arches, assessing whether a child has flat foot can be difficult. There are a number of contributing factors for flat feet. Often, hereditary causes may contribute to having certain tight or weak muscles or even ligament laxity. Also, poor footwear can play a major role in causing flat feet. For example, wearing shoes that limit toe movement, such as high heels when young, can lead to flat feet in adulthood. Having a flat foot does not necessarily increase the incidence of injury, nor does it usually cause a problem. However, flat feet may put a strain on your muscles, ligaments and joints, which can cause pain in your feet, legs, hips and back when you stand or walk. Furthermore, individuals with flat feet tend to develop tired or aching feet after prolonged periods of walking or standing. Treatment is only required if the flat foot causes pain in the foot or lower limb. Besides treatment, there are exercises you can do to improve your flat foot condition. It is important to perform these exercises in a safe and comfortable position. Stop immediately and inform your podiatrist if you experience any pain. To ensure your safety is maintained during exercise, pick an appropriate time to do the exercises. Be well rested and ensure your symptoms are well controlled by your medication. Exercise at your own pace. Avoid jerking or bouncing. Instead, maintain a comfortable and sustained stretch. Perform these exercises several times at one go and do them repeatedly throughout the day. Sit barefoot in a chair and place a small hand towel on the floor in front of you. Place the ball of your foot on the edge of the towel and reaching out with your toes as far as you can, grab the towel and scrunch it back towards you, bunching it under your foot. Keep reaching out and grabbing more towel until you run out. Repeat on the other foot. Stand on a step with only the ball of your foot on the board and the rest of your heel and foot hanging slightly below the toes. Start with your foot in a neutral position and raise up to your tiptoes by pressing down with your toes. When you lower, resist the urge to drop to your heel too far below the stair line. Do three sets of stair raises 10 times per set. Stretching your calf muscles can help loosen tight calf muscles that contribute to a flat foot. To stretch your calf and Achilles tendon, sit on the floor with your legs fully extended in an L-shaped position and your toes pointing upwards. Place a towel or TheraBand 
over your forefoot and hold. Pull it towards you. You should feel the stretch at the back of your left leg below the knee. Hold the stretch for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat with the opposite leg. Repeat the stretch three times on each leg and do this exercise three to four times daily. Start with your foot placed flat on the floor. Try raising all 10 toes upwards and hold for five seconds. Then relax and repeat 10 times. Hip weakness can contribute to flat feet, so it's also important to strengthen the muscles that control the outward movement of the leg. This helps to ensure that the joints of the leg stay in proper alignment. One such exercise is side lying leg raises. Begin by lying on your side with one arm bent and resting under your head. Keep both legs straight with your bottom leg touching the ground while raising your top leg one feet above your bottom leg. Hold for two seconds, then return the leg to the ground to complete one rep. Perform a total of 10 reps three times a day. Don't let flat feet ruin your quality of life. Get treatment today and do the exercises regularly. Start today and you can be pain free from flat foot.